Hello once again, audience. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Murdered Soul Suspect. Down on the farm. Anyway, in the last video, when we left off, uh, what happened? A lot of things happened. Many things happened. Um, we were investigating the bell killer and made our way to- Oh, I see a shiny. Shiny? Shiny. Uh, we were investigating our way to, uh, whatchamacallit, the police station, to find this mysterious book of this, uh, girl's mother who has been helping with the investigation of the bell killer. And it just so turns out that, uh, lots of been going on. Is this the cemetery? A psychiatric hospital? That sounds Not going odd. that way. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to the psychiatric hospital. Uh, so we found the book, and it turns out that there was a lead to the Ashland Cemetery, so we're headed straight there. Um, do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Uh, ooh. See, there's like certain things I can reveal. There's certain things I can't. Like this plaque. Okay. Hello, cat. To the cemetery. I used to see this as Julia's final resting place. Now it's just where her body is buried. Guess I'll be buried here soon. This is home to neither of us. Just the place for others to come and remember what they used to know. Somebody's watching me. Which is really weird because I'm a ghost. Or if another ghost watches me. Shadowing me. Sorry it's been so long, Julia. running water. Hey, buddy. You okay? I don't know. I was so drunk. And we both were. One minute her hands were all over me, the next, I'm in the water. By the time I got back up here, she was gone. She pushed you? No, nothing like that. Like I said, I had one too many and lost my balance. I just didn't expect to find her missing when I got back. Something must have scared her off. Yeah, you know the fact that like she... your floating corpse. Well, 
What? Forget it. I know I should go. But she might come back. There's the kid. It makes you miss the warmth of the police station, doesn't it? Your secret errand was to get a flashlight? Keep it down. I can't see you and we're not talking to each other. Got it? This place is crawling with people. Don't want to know. Hey, we're still people. The book says that there's a murder that happened right here. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This can't be a dead end. I'm not already. What am I gonna do? Plenty of Just leave it to me. Excuse me, ma'am. Have you been recently... Excuse me, but, uh... Did you see the police investigation here a few weeks back? Not close up. I think there was something behind me. I'm not sure. Son of a gun. What do you know about the girl who washed up here? This thing floated down the river by her body. Think it ended up in the bushes over there. Joy. Joy, I need your help getting something out of those bushes. Okay. Just push her in. Take her body. I don't know if it's important, but this is all I can find. Oh. washed up on shore, so she was murdered upriver. How does he smoke if he has no lungs? Also, where does he keep getting cigarettes? In Miles of banks to both sides. Might as well be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. Oh, genius. That'd be a needle stack. Crawling with ghosts. I wish we could just ask her, Sophia. Holy crap, maybe we can. That's that ghost that was watching me. Freaky girl wouldn't leave me alone. It's her. She's the one in the photo. <sighs> Damn it, stop doing that to me, will you? Wait, don't leave me here, but did you see that? Yeah, she was talking about that. A small favor. Give her a chance. She can help help all of us. Please.
hear that? Of course I heard that. Demons. Shit. Right? Crap, crap, crap. Where is it? One, two, three. Oh, I can't. I got this. There he is. Son of a gun. Here he comes. Demons can't find me. Ha ha ha. You stupid demon. Ha ha ha. Stupid demon. Yes. No, I'm not over here. I don't know. Who told you that? It was probably Steve. Solid rock. I can go through everything else, but I can't go through the rock. Run. Demon salt. I'm salt. What are y'all doing? Come on, oh, Brave Robin. Whose idea was this? I haven't had this much fun in ever. You're you're breaking into a race. Just like a fence, right? Messed up, bro. Should have brought a crowbar. Yeah, we always bring a crowbar when we're hitchhiking to Boston. How do I do that trick? I'll learn how to do that. Hey, I don't know what you're doing, but. Finally, it's about time they sent someone. Look, I think you got the wrong guy. Who are you expecting? <sighs> Who's supposed to maintain this place? I mean, just take a look around. These aren't just rocks, they're reminders. No one else may care, but I refuse to just let mine crumble away. I refuse to be forgotten. Right. Well, good luck with that. the graveyard, which was founded in the 1660s. Was that before or after the trials? 
Oh, good question. Come on, buddy. Did everyone hear that? Leave the poor girl this alone. Young lady just asked poor girl. This happened huh. before or after she and her investigative time. news team put it me on death row. A few now hold before. on a second. So this great Whatever you did put you on death row, not her. Okay. Please. And we're going if it wasn't for her, they now. wouldn't have found out. So if you'll just You should have seen the pride me. in her eyes as they put the bag over my head and pumped me full of chemicals. She likes to pretend that it doesn't bother her, like she's stronger than that. But I know it does. I can see it when she sleeps. So you're haunting her for the rest of her life? No. I'm waiting for her death. And I want a front row seat. Then, we'll have a little talk. I wonder if it's really haunted. Probably the scandalous stuff they can't talk about. I think they really like this part. Hello. Hmm. A bunch of hospital beds. That's weird. Silent killer. Alright, let's see. Hey, Doc. What's up? Oh, whose hand whose is hand that? that? Ah, yes. That was just a sacrifice in the name of science. Oh, so you're one of those. Flesh okay. sacrifice? Sounds more like voodoo than science. Some may call it that, but they forget the true purpose of science. To understand the world around us and all the forces that govern it. Just because the research may be unsavory at times, doesn't mean we should turn a blind Imagine eye. Imagine being a scientist and all of a sudden you wake up as a ghost. Now I've got plenty of specimens to work with. You experimented on these people? Most of them are as good as dead anyway. I save the ones I can. The rest are being put to good use. Those were people, not guinea pigs. You're right. Now, if you don't mind, I'm quite busy. Well, that's messed up. Yellow fever. I, I overheard the nurses talking about it. Something about the, the people working on the Panama Canal. <coughs> they must have brought it back with them. Please, I can't die here. They'll use me for his experiments. <coughs> This was a hospital. They were trying to help you. Can't you see? <coughs> this was a quarantine. No help is coming. Only death. <coughs> That's a whole other story. I'm on your side. I just want to ask you a few questions. Oh. Why can every friggin' ghost teleport but me? I'm gonna have to figure this shit out. I did it! 
I'm a genius. Beats walking. Oh, it's a light. something I'd hide it over here I wish they would make a sequel to this game. I know mean, this game is like quite old, but this game was so much fun. It, it, it still is like so much fun. Just hold on, will ya? This straps the ghost. Can I sound more tough on this take? It would help if you knew what you were talking about. From this town's past, it's still haunting this graveyard? <laughs> Screaming phantasms? <laughs> Travis, don't you think that's a little over the top? Okay, cut. doing in here what happened field trip gone wrong no 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 why'd you let the door shut behind you what are you talking about <clears throat> the door only opens from the outside now you're locked in here too if I miss my classes or get caught trespassing I could lose my scholarship they need to let me out you mean that this isn't even yours of course not it's starting to creep me out, to tell the truth. This was just Kappa Delta Phi's idea of fun. I'm all for the tradition of hazing, but this has gone too far. Just See? try the door again, hazing only this wrong. time really put your shoulder into it. Trust me, 
When you get out, your glasses will be the last thing you're thinking about. This is nowhere near over. So many deaths, but likely many more yet to come. I can't help but believe this graveyard will only get more full. So that's how I get to Oh god. There's like three of them new here. No. Affection. 
just give you a chance. You spend a lot of nights at practice. Must be nice to just have some nights to hang out. Okay, I think I found everything that it is to find in well, at least this area. Except for this one. You know, I'm pretty sure there are ghosts of witch no games. That's an awesome girl. That works for me. What? some areas that I, you and I can't get into. Does everybody just come to the cemetery just to drink and flirt? Kinda messed up if you ask me. Nothing sets the mood like a decaying corpse, huh? Yep. Best in my gate. Just stop. I'm on your side. I'm trying to figure out who killed you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a cop. My God, you... You're not trying to escape me. You want me to see something.
Why would he go to all this trouble to kill you this way? Hey, it's okay. You can come out of the water now. It's okay, come on. I'm on your side. this contract what, what, what did he mean by contract reach out your hand no this is the memory of your murder you're too young you shouldn't see this she can't communicate any other way <laughs> I swear I don't know about any contract doing this to me? Who are you? What are you doing? You're him! No! I don't want to... It's Simba. Stop it! Please, just... Please, just... No... He drew on you. His symbol. It must have meant something. information. I kind of, you know, the one thing she told me not to do, she's like, please don't leave me with, like, the people. And I'm like, what people? Nice. Ghost. Oh, never mind. Ronan! I heard screams and... Good that you're okay. Well, I'm still dead. Oh, you found something. Yeah, I did. Bell Killer drowned the girl in the lake, let her body float down river. My mother was right. This is a Bell Killer case. Did you find anything about my mom? Memory residue or something? Sorry, kid. And it's a good thing you didn't see what he did to the girl. This guy is. He's sadistic. One weird thing is that he confronted the girl about a contract before he offed her. The contract? I don't think I've seen anything about a contract. Wait, wait, wait. Another case possible Bell Killer survivor. Iris Campbell. 
diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, incoherent ramblings about persecution, and a contract. Again. And where does it say where she is? Um, it just says Lux Eterna. Is that a place? Yeah. Lux Eterna is a mental hospital. Of course it is. <sighs> okay, ready to go? Uh, actually, um, go on ahead. I, uh, I need to visit someone here. Oh. Guess I'll meet you at the hospital. Worst nightmare than this. Now that we have new ghost powers, I can go through areas like this. The apartments should be near here. I don't think we finished the apartments. Yeah. Now that we can teleport. Oh, it's just you. I knew I heard something. find all the yeah. Honey, they can probably hear you. I'm sure you saw the whole thing in that 
makes you special. Always looking out the window, sticking your nose in everyone else's business. I did see you, and I'm going to have nightmares normally. I think we've got enough nightmares to last us a while. Don't talk about it. Oh, yeah, I forgot the old couple that killed the girl that might have been on drugs. Those guys on the third floor? Falls victim to what appears to be a brazen murder in public. Hey, uh, shit. You trying to give me another heart attack? No, I, I just... It was rhetorical for God's sake. Come on, don't look so lost. Take a look around or something. You know, spy a little. It's not like anyone's gonna stop you. Bell Tower. I'm done. I don't need to be doing anything in here. Everything's solved. Okay. I do, however. Need you any more cat? I can get up there by myself. The only thing I wish, I, I wish this thing had a map. Yeah, a map would be awesome. So, I'm gonna... What's this? Point of coming in here.
Yes. What, what, what happened here? That looks like... like a baby down there. Please help me. It's supposed to be dead. I can still feel growing inside me. It's trying to rip its way out. Wait. You did this? You, you, you killed your own kid? You don't understand. There was something wrong with it. It wasn't human. It, it was something else. Something darker. What the hell are you talking about? It showed me things. Horrible things. This was the only way to stop them from happening. But I was too late. They've already begun. I, I can see them crawling their way up from the flames. We have to run! You can't run from this. If you want it to stop, you have to find a way to, to move on. I, I can't. There's nowhere to go. There's only darkness and flame. Was that... was that it? Was that the only reason to get up here? do. Oh. Alright, we gotta find our way back to uh not the police station. At the church. Has to be. Please, sir.
god. game only has a certain amount of levels how hard is it to find a church I'll cut through this alley okay I'm on the right track I remember these guys I remember the ship ships are a good sign ships are usually me Again, what is the point of this? Unless there's a... It was somewhere around noon on a Sunday when I got a call from the pastor. He was looking for someone to fix up the old church. It had been sitting up on that hill, abandoned for over 40 years after getting hit by lightning back in 98. It suffered a bunch of fire damage. So of course I, I agreed to help. I knew something was wrong the second I stepped inside. As an, an inexplicable chill came over me. Anyway, I, I shook it off and I, I set to work. As I started tearing up the damaged floorboards, they were all bad. Well, I uncovered an old rat's nest. It seemed like any of the others I'd seen over my 22 years in the construction business until I saw the scraps of human hair and bones that the rats had used to make it. Well, suddenly I, I heard the floorboards on the second floor creaking above me and the sounds of a young girl weeping. Well, you know, I was worried that the damaged section of the ceiling was gonna give away under her weight, so you know, I, I yelled, hey, you know, stop, come down immediately. Well, my voice must have startled her because she went completely silent. So I got up and I, I went to look for her. When I entered the room upstairs, though, I was surprised to see it completely empty. It only took me, you know, a minute to make my way up there, and I would have heard her run off if she did. But that's when I heard the weeping again. Only this time it was coming from the bell tower. So I, I climbed up the long, treacherous, curving stairs at the top, and I, I noticed what I thought was dried blood dotting the way. And when I finally got up to the belfry, I was just paralyzed with terror because lying before me was the withered corpse of a young girl. Judging by her sun-bleached clothes and weathered bones, it seemed like she'd been lying there for the better part of those 40 years the place had been empty. The rats, I mean, they, they picked her bones clean. I, well, I took off running. I didn't stop until I got all the way to town. The ravages of time made it impossible for the authorities to get any identity on this girl. It seems Salem will never know who killed her. 
Some people still claim to hear her weeping there. As for myself, I never went back. Alright. So we need to still find the one that's in the town. So we need to find the one that's in town and we need to find, uh, the, uh, one at the, uh, what's it called? Back to the cemetery.
sounded like a demon for a minute. like a back way. You know, I'm pretty sure there are ghosts of witches right around this spot. That works for me. There's the guy that can't accept his own mortal coil. This traps the ghost trapper. We are insane. Phantasms from this town's past still haunt. Well, you would think that there's something down there, but...
Oh. Oh. Help! This one is getting delirious again. I'm afraid he's gonna have another seizure. Just comfort him as best you can. <coughs> His internal organs are failing. He doesn't have long now. <coughs> Hmm. Here we are in the oldest part of the graveyard. It's been around the 1660s. Was that before or after?
makes a feast for the innocent. Oh, that's messed up. Kid, who was the hero? My great grandfather. I found a bunch of his things from the war in the attic. I even had a drink from his flask. No one in the family ever talks about him, though. I think it's because of his gory stories of the war. It must have been great to stick someone with a bayonet or paint a wall with someone's brains. Trust me, kid. Stuff like that stays with you forever. You only find yourself wishing to forget. So what? He was a hero. I'd do anything to be remembered like that. Instead, people think I'm a coward who committed suicide. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't do it. I don't know how it happened, but I'm no coward. And if I were still alive, I'd slit the throat of every person who ever called me one. Okay, okay, touchy subject. I get it. It's messed up. You haven't seen that, like an heirloom around here, have you? No, okay. Ooh, bitch. Well, we're all the way back at the beginning, and uh, we're missing one. So, I think it could be around. Oh, hello. Dang it. I thought we were about to get lucky. You would think it would be around here. Oh, sure, or something. Go through the whole level. Let's see, the last 
Come on, man. You can't be that. You get over here and try it. Okay. I know it's steel. see something real quick. Okay, so we're missing 13, so it has to be back towards the end of the level. Probably on this shore, because this is like right at the end. Okay. That looks like a place I can get up.
Fuck. Oh my god. I've always been a kleptomaniac. It's not that I was lazy or anything, I was just bored. Stolen goods were always more interesting to me. I could just look at whatever it was and relive the exciting memory of the theft itself. Sometimes I was worried that I'd get caught. Other times I was riding an adrenaline rush. But it wasn't until the last thing I ever stole that I truly felt afraid. I remember it like it was yesterday, despite the years I've been trying to forget it. My friends and I snuck into a graveyard to drink a few beers like we normally did on a boring weeknight. We headed for our usual spot, an old run-down mausoleum. Only this time it was locked. It seemed someone had finally taken an interest in the dead guy it belonged to and didn't appreciate us partying there. So we split up and went looking for a new place. Finally, I found another mausoleum. And one of its walls had begun to crumble away, but I squeezed through. And the inside looked the same as all the others, except for one thing. Lying there, on top of the central tomb was a dusty frame that contained a wreath made of elaborately braided rope. Knowing that antiques were valuable, I took it. I figured I'd wait a week before selling it in case anyone reported it stolen. So when I got home, I hid it at the top of my closet and went to sleep. That night, I had horrible nightmares of a dead-faced hag with rotting flesh. No matter how many times I woke up, she always found her way back into my dreams. Over the next few days, the nightmares got worse. I'd wake up only to find clumps of my hair missing and my scalp bleeding. I chalked it up to stress and feelings of guilt about stealing from the graveyard. So the next day I went to a pawn shop to sell the wreath and be done with it. I could feel a shiver run down my spine when the pawnbroker informed me that the wreath wasn't made from a rope at all. It was actually made from the human hair of a deceased loved one, as was customary in the late 1800s. I wanted the nightmares to stop, so I sold it to him. Unfortunately, it didn't work that way. Now, I spend my time trying to track it down, hoping to return it so I can finally Get some sleep. All right. All right, so we gotta find three of the eternal flames. Right. I must have ran past that spot so many times. Uh, it, uh, it pays to go through levels backwards. make our way out of the cemetery we'll head back into town I think we'll call this video quits good use of our time to track down see if I
Alright guys, well that'll do it for this episode of Murdered Soul Suspect. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next video.